Okay, thank you, Fred. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the gradual variations of uh, Enso teleconnection in uh, South Asian region, particularly uh, uh, on the uh, Arabian Peninsula uh, precipitation. Uh, I have three co authors, uh, Professor Manzo and uh, Irfan from uh, King Abdelaziz University, uh, Saudi Arabia. And, uh, Manzo is there and uh, uh, Fred and myself. And uh, before uh, talking about science, uh, I will uh, briefly, very briefly, uh, introduce a new center in Saudi uh, Arabia, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, Climate Center. Uh, uh, this uh, center was uh, uh, actually encouraged uh, here uh, uh, seven years ago. Uh, and uh, we initiated uh, the center uh, here from uh, ICTP uh, about uh, six years ago. And then uh, uh, Professor Manzoro was able to establish uh, the uh, Center of Excellency of Climate Change Research uh, in King Abdelaziz University uh, five years ago. <clears throat> and uh, uh, the research field uh, uh, is uh, the global climate modeling and uh, seasonal prediction and the regional climate modeling as well, and uh, all kinds of climate uh, research. And uh, uh, recently, uh, KAU provides a computer uh, to, uh, for us so that uh, we are uh, making so many uh, simulations. And uh, uh, this center is a unique center in the Arab uh, region uh, uh, and uh, can be considered as a regional hub in the field of climate change research. And uh, this is one example uh, that we did uh, uh, last, some, uh, last December uh, when we invited uh, a scientists, a climate scientists and uh, forecasters from all Arab uh, countries uh, and uh, we uh, conducted a regional target training uh, workshop on seasonal prediction and uh, uh, we also provide uh, the rep sessions and uh, Manzur, Manzur is there. Uh, I give a lecture, and uh, so uh, actually, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, new uh, climate center in Saudi uh, plays some role uh, for uh, promoting the science in Arab uh, society. And uh, the collaborators, uh, of course, ICTP, uh, Fred and other people, and the Columbia University, uh, Michael, uh, Michael, uh, Michael Tibet, and uh, myself uh, from Seoul National University, and uh, uh, climate research unit uh, uh, in uh, University of uh, East Anglia. Uh, Phil Jones uh, is involved uh, in this uh, center. And uh, uh, the Manzur uh, is keen to uh, work with uh, other collaborators uh, from home and abroad. And uh, uh, during uh, the workshop, uh, Manzur is there, uh, so uh, uh, you may uh, talk about uh, uh, your uh, interest uh, to the uh, center. <clears throat> and uh, uh, this uh, uh, center, uh, uh, I mean, uh, aims uh, uh, to develop uh, uh, climate model as well, uh, and uh, also uh, working on seasonal prediction, and heavily working on uh, prediction, uh, prediction uh, uh, forecast. Why prediction uh, of uh, rainfall? Uh, actually, it, this is a desert area, but uh, uh, as you can see, uh, we have, uh, I mean, uh, Saudi has distinctive inter uh, annual cycle and uh, uh, interannual uh, variability. And uh, uh, also, uh, often, we see uh, flooding. See, uh, uh, here, uh, year 2009, uh, over 100 millimeter uh, rainfall uh, happened. And, uh, and this event uh, killed, uh, killed more than 100 people. So that uh, society attention on the uh, uh, rainfall uh, prediction and climate uh, research. So that uh, it was very fortunate for us uh, at that time. And uh, Manzor and we uh, tried to demonstrate importance of climate research in the university. But uh, uh, I mean, it was difficult. But uh, uh, after this, uh, 
uh, society interested in, university interested in, and uh, even uh, president ordered to establish crime center so that uh, certainly a uh, crime center, center happened. Uh, and uh, the day before yesterday, uh, in uh, November uh, 17th this year, uh, during our workshop, there is another flooding uh, in, in Jeddah. So, uh, uh, I mean, Manzoro told me that uh, this uh, big uh, disaster also uh, provides some another uh, opportunity uh, uh, for the center. Uh, so, so uh, we have uh, uh, the uh, uh, rainfall uh, in Saudi and uh, the interannual variation of the, uh, uh, the uh, I mean, the west season total precipitation uh, is fluctuating uh, significantly uh, from uh, minus 45 uh, millimeter and the uh, uh, maximum is over 150 uh, mi uh, millimeter uh, per uh, season. So that uh, large inter uh, interannual fluctuations. And uh, in order to make a long range forecast, we have to understand the, the, the fluctuation of this. Uh, so uh, first, first thing uh, to do uh, is uh, to uh, identify global pattern associated with this. Uh, and uh, we try to uh, I mean, uh, uh, find out the relationship uh, of this with ENSO, and the, uh, the correlation was nothing, almost zero, uh, for over 100 years. But if you do uh, sliding correlations with 20, uh, 21 uh, year window, uh, sometimes uh, big uh, correlations happen. Uh, here, this is an example. We use uh, from 1950, uh, uh, I mean data from 1950, because uh, global circulation data is available after that. And uh, as you can see, uh, by the way, this is uh, the correlation between uh, African, uh, uh, Arabian Peninsula rainfall and Reno uh, 3.4. And uh, here, uh, 60s and 70s, uh, I mean, uh, the regional rainfall is negatively correlated with uh, uh, ENSO and positively correlated uh, uh, in a recent 30 year period. I mean, uh, I was very much interested in, uh, after seeing this, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the correlation uh, even changed the sign uh, for the uh, uh, last uh, 30 years or so. Uh, so uh, we uh, start to investigate why this uh, uh, ENSO influence uh, even changed the sign. La Nina uh, produces more precipitation, and in recent years, uh, El Nino produces more precipitation uh, uh, this uh, I mean, uh, recent three, uh, 30 years. So we divide uh, 30 years uh, uh, by uh, 1980, uh, from 1950 to 1980, and uh, 1980 to uh, 2010. And uh, uh, this is the, uh, the correlation pattern of SST with uh, AP rainfall. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, all tropical uh, cooling okay, produces more precipitation over here. But uh, in uh, recent 30 years, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Eastern Pacific uh, warming actually produced more precipitation. And as you can see, uh, uh, I mean, a linear pattern uh, actually influenced, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Arabian Peninsula precipitation in recent 30 years. And uh, when you uh, correlate uh, this AP rainfall uh, on the uh, 200 millibar geopotential height, uh, this is a pattern. Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, large scale uh, circulation pattern actually influence, uh, I mean, uh, desert area, uh, Saudi uh, preci precipitation over here. Uh, in this uh, two figure, there is a common uh, feature uh, here, over here. Uh, I mean, uh, upper level negative geopotential height actually produces more precipitation over here. See? But the connectivity to other uh, reason uh, in uh, geopotential height is different. All negative in early uh, uh, 30 year period and uh, positive, mostly positive in, uh, in, uh, in recent 30 year period. And uh, this pattern is uh, similar to ENSO and this pattern is similar, uh, not very, uh, uh, I mean, exact same, uh, same but uh, close to uh, La Nina. Uh, so uh, we uh, try to uh, uh, investigate uh, what is the uh, teleconnection pattern uh, 
of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, telecognition pattern of ENSO uh, uh, for this two, 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 two period. And uh, this is, uh, oh no, uh, before that, uh, uh, yes, uh, this is uh, the, the uh, ENSO, uh, the correlation uh, pattern of geopotential height uh, correlated with uh, linear 3.4 for uh, uh, I mean, uh, early 30 year period and uh, late 30 year period. As you can see, uh, and so actually, uh, I mean, uh, El Nino produces all warming of the tropics uh, in early uh, 30 year period, and it is expanded, okay, over here in the Indian region. But uh, in recent years, Enso actually uh, uh, produces uh, warming over here, but it is shrinked, and the negative uh, uh, geopotential height uh, uh, becomes evident. Uh, so uh, this pattern is similar to this, and uh, this pattern is completely negative. That's why uh, uh, I mean AP rainfall is uh, correlated with uh, La Nina condition. Now, what is the uh, uh, the uh, uh, SST uh, pattern associated with uh, uh, El Nino. This is uh, uh, early 30-year period, and this is uh, uh, recent 30-year period. As you can see, uh, very strong uh, warming associated with uh, uh, El Nino uh, in early 30-year period, and uh, uh, cooling, but it is not very distinctive in the Western Pacific. However, uh, in the uh, uh, when recent period, El Nino a company, very strong, negative uh, uh, SST of Western Pacific, and relatively weak uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, SST anomaly in the uh, Indian Ocean. So that over here, the SST uh, uh, pattern is quite different. Okay? So uh, uh, the, uh, we uh, try to uh, uh, I mean, reproduce this with a model, um, ICT, with ICTP uh, speedy model, with the prescribed uh, SST anomaly uh, with this and with this. And uh, uh, this is the, uh, the, the results. Uh, I mean, this is a 200 millibar geopotential height response with the prescribed uh, SST anomaly over, uh, over, uh, I mean, over the globe. Uh, and uh, this is the response uh, in early uh, 30 year period. And this is late uh, 30 year period. As you can see, there's a distinctive difference uh, in, uh, over this, uh, this location uh, in, in, uh, in South Asia, uh, including Arabian Peninsula over here. Uh, so uh, we reproduced uh, these uh, differences, uh, geopotential height differences, uh, by uh, prescribing SST anomaly. So the SST anomaly is responsible. And uh, if we divide uh, Pacific and Indian Ocean, uh, this is the result. So, uh, I mean, upper panel uh, is the. Uh, uh, huh? Reason? Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, Pacific uh, uh, response and uh, Indian Ocean response. So, Pacific mainly uh, uh, make the difference, uh, particularly uh, Western Pacific uh, uh, SSD pattern produces uh, a negative over here. And the uh, Indian Ocean plays uh, some role, but the uh, uh, Western Pacific should plays a major role for the difference. <clears throat> uh, and uh, what about uh, linking uh, this uh, to the uh, uh, global uh, circulation mode? Uh, so uh, we uh, made a UF analysis uh, uh, of uh, geopotential height uh, uh, anomaly uh, in uh, early 30 year period. And uh, this is the uh, first UF, as you, uh, I mean, as you know and well known, uh, the PNA pattern is, is reproduced. And uh, if you correlate uh, this time series uh, with SST, this is the SST pattern. So that uh, we know that uh, ENSO produces PNA, uh, and uh, this pattern is actually uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, uh, well known after uh, Horan Wallace and Wallace and Gatchler uh, papers. Uh, in early uh, 1980. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the data is actually the same. The period is actually the same. So, uh, ENSO and uh, PNA. 
And the uh, second mode uh, is actually uh, the, uh, the trend mode. I'm not going to talk about uh, this second mode. And uh, in early 30 year period, uh, the first mode uh, is this one, pretty uh, similar to, to, to answer, but uh, more or less uh, journally uh, oriented. Jo I, I call it journal mode, but uh, uh, very close to uh, PNA. And uh, the associated SSD pattern is like this. So uh, in warming all uh, over the tropics. Uh, I mean, uh, seems to produce uh, this kind of pattern. And uh, more interestingly, this is second mode. Actually, this second mode uh, is, 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 is ENSO mode, which produces uh, the, uh, uh, the pattern like this. But the pattern looks uh, similar to PNA, but when you uh, compare these two, this is first mode, and uh, this is second mode uh, in, uh, in uh, recent 30 year period. As you can see, there is a similarity in the Western Hemisphere, but uh, uh, differences uh, in the Eastern, Eastern Hemisphere, particularly over here, you see, uh, uh, the positive and the negative. Okay? So that, I mean, uh, the distinctive mode actually uh, uh, shows the, uh, uh, the, uh, the dip, I mean, uh, circulation uh, differences over, uh, I mean, South Asia and even uh, in the uh, Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, this uh, sign is different uh, here. Uh, and uh, the SSD pattern, as you can see, uh, here uh, in uh, early 30 uh, year period, very uh, strong, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Indian Ocean uh, link, uh, linkage and uh, relatively uh, weak uh, Western Pacific SSD anomaly. But uh, as you can see, very strong, uh, I mean, Western Pacific uh, SSD anomaly and relatively weak Indian Ocean SSD anomaly. And uh, so uh, uh, the, uh, uh, this pattern, uh, I mean, difference of the uh, PNA pattern and uh, Eastern Pacific uh, circulation uh, differences uh, of the uh, principal mode uh, it, it seems to be very important uh, for the, uh, not only, uh, I mean, South Asian climate, uh, but also uh, uh, Asian monsoon as well. So uh, we are going to further uh, attention on this, uh, this pattern and uh, further uh, make on the research. And uh, uh, finally, uh, then what is the possible reason? Uh, one possible reason might be from uh, Atlantic Ocean. Uh, this is one example. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the uh, Elenio uh, uh, Indian Ocean uh, relationship uh, has been, uh, I mean, changed, okay? This is the, uh, uh, the sliding correlation. <clears throat> and uh, this is AMO uh, uh, time series, AMO index. So as you can see, there is uh, some uh, uh, negative uh, correlations, not perfect, but uh, it indicates that I mean, AMO might influence uh, to uh, El Nino and the Indian Ocean uh, relationship. And uh, 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 this is my final uh, slide. Uh, the, uh, this again sliding correlation between uh, NAO and uh, uh, Arabian Peninsula rainfall. As you can see, there is also very distinctive uh, sign change, the relationship uh, for the uh, El Nino uh, uh, influence to uh, the Arabian uh, Peninsula precipitation, positive and becomes negative, okay? And uh, similarly, uh, I already showed this one, uh, negative uh, to positive, uh, with, with answer. So uh, uh, if, you, uh, if you correlate uh, with uh, NAO and uh, LINEO, uh, the correlation is not that good, uh, I mean, almost uh, not significant. But if you uh, correlate uh, with uh, AP rainfall, the, uh, the, uh, the, the correlation becomes, uh, I mean, uh, uh, becomes uh, some, uh, some important, uh, important uh, correlations here, uh, becomes appeared. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, Atlantic Ocean uh, may influence uh, Indian Ocean and the uh, ENSO connections uh, and also influences uh, uh, regional uh, rainfall in South uh, uh, Asia, I think, as well as uh, 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 I mean, Sahel uh, precipitation as well. And uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is summary. And, uh, Thank you very much, and this is our recent publication on this topic. Thank you.